these last three or four days been like for you? Um, a little hectic, you know, uh, a lot of learning, um, learning plays, learning schemes, tendencies, um, you know, trying to adjust. Um, but it's been a lot of fun and exciting, so, you know, I can, can't complain at all. This is nothing you've ever really had to do before. Uh, I'm just curious what that experience has been like for you. Um, like I said, like I try not to, you know, think about it too much. I go one day at a time and then try to improve and, uh, you know, take it step by step. Um, not trying to think too much about, you know, it's new to me, like, you know, oh, my God. Like, you know, I'm trying to, like, hey, this is, this is great, and I'm having a great time at it. Uh, so that's how I'm approaching it. I'm approaching it with a, a lot of confidence, a lot of, uh, you know, energy and, uh, and, and uh, like, learning approach. You look very comfortable in that game, considering they hadn't played with really you know, yeah. any of these guys. What made you kind of feel like you fit in? And well, this, it's, it's basketball at the end of the day, uh, and, 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 you know, I like to play basketball team. I like to communicate. I like to share the ball and, and see what's open. Um, and it's going to get better with time, I know, and I'm going to get more comfortable out there. I'm going to get um, better rhythm in my shot and my leg. So, you know, it's all positives. I mean, I just um, their approach as well, like how guys compete on the ball, how guys, how unselfish they are. Um, they're helping me um, get adjusted as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's great. How much does the experience that you have help in all of this? Like, do you think this process is easier for you now than it would have been if you would have been traded early in your career? Well, it's not as um, emotional, probably. Uh, you know, you're older, uh, you're more mature, you, you know, you put things in perspective, and uh, you understand the chance that you have, you know, coming uh, from a team that uh, hasn't made the playoffs uh, last year and more, more than likely not this year as well. Um, you know, having a chance to be back there, you know how much it means. And, uh, and, and you look at the team and, uh, and, and the way the franchise is set up and every, everyone around it, um, you, you understand what they're going for. So um, it's, all, it's all great things. Does that, does that give you a, a boost to energy to come to a team in this kind of a situation? Without a doubt, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, who, who, I mean yeah, obviously. <laughs> You know, uh, you, I mean, the energy that you felt all along. I mean, you, you we were playing in, in New York, and uh, and you could already feel that energy, and, uh, and and it felt like there were thousands of them up there. So, um, imagine just having all of them here. Um, it's just um, exciting. You feel, um, you know, happy, and uh, and like what you're playing for really excites you as well. I don't think playoffs, um, from a player's standpoint, obviously, they're not that emotional. Um, they, they're really uh, detail-oriented and, uh, and aggressive and assertive basketball. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of more of a, you know, not a chess match, but uh, it's more mind uh, over, you know, just emotion. Uh, so, um, yeah, he, he, I mean, he played great against us, uh, you know, took us uh, – um, a lot just to win two games in that series against them a couple of years ago, and, and he's you know he's um, relentless. Um, he also has a very strong mind when it comes down to that, and uh, you know it's it's fun to have it on, on your side now. Is it easier to play with? I mean, Kawhi's a high IQ basketball guy. Kyle, uh, Fred, a number of guys on this team. Is it easier to kind of fit in with guys who have that extra understanding of the game? Yeah, and and and, uh, and the sole goal of you know winning um, that makes things um, you know there's no there's no doubt there's no hesitation and we're here to win and and how you contribute to that it's it's what's important um, so that that makes things a lot easier because at the end of the day that that's the answer that you're gonna get. This has been a franchise that's had great success in the regular season and mm -hmm. difficulties in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, from afar, what did you think and what did you see in the Raptors? Um. You know, from uh, as a player, you you don't judge as much as uh, you know probably media and, and fans do. You um, you understand the struggles, you understand um, matchups, how important they are, and uh, and the mindset. So you know, sometimes it's just you know small details that uh, you know set you apart from a win. So you know, what happened in the past to me right now, it's it's not really relevant. It's about, you know, how you get ready for the next 25 games to approach that postseason and, and how, you know, how far along can I come and how much can I help those guys, you know, up their game and, and make things easier for them. That's that's my approach um, to these next 25 games. What, what has Coach Nurse talked to you about or told you about in terms of how they plan on using you and what your role might be? Um, right now, we're just trying to fit in and, and, you know, understanding, you know, like I said, uh, the play, the spacing, obviously, um, you know, the pace that they're trying to play at, um, players' tendencies, uh, 
you know, defensively, the terminology as well. Um, it's not so much about my role now. It's more like trying to get a comfortable and adjusted to uh, what the team trying to do, and then we'll figure out later on, um, you know, what, you know, how can I produce more. Does it matter to you whether you start or come off the bench? I'm used to obviously starting, um, you know, for the last probably 10 years. Um, but it's, you know, we'll see how, how it goes. And uh, right now it's, you know, how, how fast can I get acclimated and, and, and how can I help the guys, you know, up their game more. I'm sure you have a billion things to take care of in Memphis and here trying to get life back to normal. But do you anticipate using the All-Star break to watch maybe a little more video than you would in, in past Yeah, and, and work out as well. Um, I'm staying... Um, at home, I'm staying in Memphis uh, for the, for the week uh, for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to pack. And I'm going to work out and, and get ready for you know for the second part of the season, um, which like I said is going to be crucial, especially for me being here um, such a short time, trying to get you know up to speed to you know the way they they're trying to play and the way they want to do things. I imagine I imagine it's nice for you that with the new schedule with the, the deadline being a couple weeks earlier, because like in the past, you know, this trade would happen mm-hmm. right after the break, and then you would have to kind of just go into it as close to now where you get. Couple weeks now to kind of ease into this mm-hmm. a little bit and get some time to process it and get yourself set up. Well, right. it's, it's the first time for me, so like um, I just think it hasn't come. I'm obviously, I'm you know, if it came that way, like I'm happy. If, sure. if it came differently, like I would have, you, you know, you deal with it the way it comes and, uh, and make the most out of it, but obviously it helps you, you know, to play like three or four games and uh, and now take a break and kind of like settle in and, and now get back at it again. My wife works uh, in in Memphis, and so she has jo- um, jobs till next month, um, some projects. And after after that, when she's done, uh, they all come up. My my two kids and my wife. So I'm obviously excited about that. How old are your kids? Four and two, four and two. So you don't have to pull them out of school or anything like that. No, they in daycare. Right? They are. They are. They are they're, they're still. They're still um, portable. Right? Yeah, four and two. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> carry arms. <laughs> <laughs> you carry them. You can carry them. Mark, I have history with uh, a lot of the Raptors haven't played against. Them. Anybody in particular say anything or do anything uh, memorable to you when you walked in, when you met all these guys? Sort of. No, they, they they know you know they know what what we're here to do, and uh, they're excited obviously, and and just giving me um, nuggets of uh, you know things that they try to see or what they you know they want me to obviously be aggressive at the same time, and they know how unselfish I am, um, and just you know take one step at a time with it. Mark, you mentioned uh, the pace of play. Memphis has been one of the slower paced teams. Mm-hmm. Do you have a preference of how you like to play? Are you looking forward to getting up and down a bit? Um, no, I'm, I'm, you know, you adapt to it, you adapt to whatever gets you closest to winning. Yeah. And, and uh, if that's you know up in the pace, that you got to get ready and, and work on that. And it's, uh, if you think that playing a slower pace is going to get you closer to winning, that's what you got to do. So um, I'm all for the team. Uh, I mean, I, I got to thank my coaches, you know, growing up, um, giving me all the tools. Um, and, and a lot of it probably back then didn't make much, much sense to me. Um, but, you know, their trust and their work and their patience, obviously, and their chances of making mistakes over and over on the floor, um, probably that's what you know, got me now to be a little more patient and, and having, you know, being able to see how to play the schemes. Yeah, no, no question. And Serge and Sergio on the staff, and um, you know Jose, you know he ha- still has a place here. Um, he offered it, but he's renewing it. Uh, so I'm okay, sure. And uh, so you know they, they they told me all great things about the city and and the organization. So um, couldn't be more excited about it.